Hello, people of the internet. This is Andrew here, and today is going to be quite the controversial video. I'm sure of that, but we're going to be talking about fat acceptance. That's what I call it, because <sighs> this is coming from the guy that was previously 340 pounds, so I'm not here to insult fat people. I was one of them, but how dangerous it is, this new world of fat acceptance. Because right now, my mother had to go shopping. I'm sitting in the car because I am not good enough to go in. Like, I want to go in to see fucking bras and that kind of shit, too. We're at a store called Pennington's. A store dedicated to overweight people. Or just... No, just overweight people. The thing is, being overweight is not some sort of lifestyle. Not some sort of fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? choice like it's not some sort of fashion statement being overweight is unhealthy and will lead to an early death i know because if i kept the way i was going today i would have probably been around 450 pounds which is some pretty scary shit if you ask me but you have to be ready to change i know it's hard people but for the for the sake of you your loved ones your families you need to change because being fat is miserable. I know guys, like I know what it's like walking around a fucking mall, being out of breath, walking past the first two fucking stores. It's awful. And that is no fucking life to lead. No fucking life to lead. Now, I know I'm still, I'm 275 pounds, so I'm not skinny by any means, but come on people like i'm trying to be as less offensive as possible but it's some scary shit people like you cannot in these fucking stores like they're giving people a reason to stay fat they're not giving the people to do what they need to do to literally save their lives like like oh what's the purpose like sometimes even if the spark to lose weight is just oh that shirt's cute i want to fit into it perfect it doesn't matter what causes it is what the catalyst is the thing is that you do it you lose weight and it is hard it is hard people like the reason i was so fat is because i ate a lot because ate, eating made me feel better it was my drug like some people do crack some people do heroin some people do meth some people do a lot of that kind of shit but I ate pizza, <laughs> and it is as addicting and as damaging and will lead to your death as any other drug. But I'm still working on it. Some days I still want to eat a lot because I'm stressed. That is my way of stress, and I understand people how hard it is. Most of you don't want to be overweight. I didn't want to be overweight, but I thought I couldn't control it. But look at me. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I promise you. The road ahead will be hard, but it won't be impossible. I swear to you guys, like, be strong. Like, if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for a loved one. Like, once the pandemic's over and it's safe, go to get a gym membership. Maybe do 15 minutes on the treadmill a day. Just a start like that is amazing, but... But with these, all these fucking stores catering to overweight people, I'm not saying, like, overweight people should be able to get their stuff. But, in my opinion, it's not being inclusive. It's giving these people a reason to stay fat. And staying fat is not okay. Because if I kept going the way I was going, I would have been dead by 30. Because my family had a prone to heart attack, prone to diabetes, all that horrible stuff. I would have ended up like my grandfather. One minute he was working, fixing a roof. The next minute, horrible pain in his chest. And the next second, he was dead. That was it. Because he, he wasn't fat, per se, but he ate like shit. He did a lot of stuff.
but for your loved ones, for your family members, for everybody that you care about, or fuck, if you want to fit into the cute shirt in the store, do it for that. But I beg you, make the change when you're ready though, because I know how hard it is to start that change. But when you do, I promise you, your life will be 10 times better. No, a hundred times better because losing all this weight literally changed my life. And I'm just telling you, like, I don't want to be offensive, guys, but yeah, a lot of people are going to see this as offensive because me talking about, like, fat shaming. How am I fat shaming? I still have a good pair of man titties myself, but I'm fat, and that's all that I can say. I am fucking fat. I'm not obese anymore, but I am overweight. Way overweight. This thing, the Apple Watch, I know it sounds cliche, helped me start my journey. So even a little thing like that could help you start something great for your life. Like something great that will change I know, like, when you tell a fat person to lose weight, it's not going to work. Like, trust me, hundreds of people finally told me to lose weight. But then what did it for me is when the doctor finally said, Andrew, the path you're going down is destroying you. And that finally lit the spark and like, shit, you're right. Because when the doctors used to tell me, oh, you need to lose weight, I'm like, oh, fuck off. Of course you want me to lose weight, but when my neurologist finally says you need to lose weight like this is destroying your life like you could be dead soon and that finally struck a chord to me my neurologist is a complete dumbass in every other way but topic for a different video but people when you're ready when you're ready start don't push it because when you push it you're going to hurt yourself you're going to do a lot of things you're going to do more mental damage and you're going to start eating more because if you're anything like me and eat because stress failure to lose weight is a huge thing of stress and that will make you eat more god damn it that's what it did to me and i tried once and i was 50 pounds fucking heavier because of it but wait till you're ready but that's if you can wait but if people like if you're like I hope you guys understand, like, being fat is not okay. It's not because, oh my god, like, look at me, right now, this is what I'm saying. If I lost 200 pounds today, and I still look like my 350 pound self, I wouldn't give a fuck. If I look like a fat fuck still, but I was healthier and I felt better, and I would live longer, so be it. It's not about appearances. It's about your health. It's about your mental health. And it's about the people you fucking love. So guys, make the right choice. And before you guys start slamming me for being fucking offensive to fat people, trust me, it's hard. I know, like, it's hard. That's all I can say, but... I did it, and I know when you're ready, you can too. Like always, guys, live life to the fullest, and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.